One of my favorite episodes of California's Goal, starring the late Huell Hauser, was the one where he visited Fort Ross for the park's annual event, which was back then known as Living History Day. Huell was the Golden State's consummate TV tourist. He had come to Fort Ross that summer day in 1991 to film episode number 201 of his popular show in KCET in Los Angeles. California's Goal was aired on all of the PBS stations in California. Because it was the park's annual Living History Day, there were scores of volunteers decked out in vintage Russian dress. Not wanting to be left out, Huell asked for a costume that he could wear too. The staff found him a shirt and vest that looked appropriate, and Huell beamed with approval. I was a state archaeologist back then, and Fort Ross was one of the many state parks I worked in. I volunteered to work the event that day and was tasked with handling the press that turned up to cover the event. So part of my job that day was to help facilitate Huell's filming of the event. This was the first time I met Huell, but it certainly wasn't the last. There were other news media types at Fort Ross as well that day, including a crew from TV Finland and another from Soviet TV. The reporter from Soviet TV was the well-known correspondent, Mikhail Taratuta, who was then the host of the popular Soviet program, America with Mikhail Taratuta. In addition to keeping Huell and the other correspondents happy, I also tried to keep the film crews separated so they didn't conflict with one another while filming. Mikkel was busy with an on-camera interview when Huell first noticed him. In typical Huell Hauser fashion, Huell turned to his own cameraman, the talented Luis Huerta, and said, let's go check that out. And then he was off, double-timing it across the old Russian compound in Mikkel's direction. I wasn't sure what Huell was up to, and I could only hope that it would work out okay. To Mikkel's surprise, Huell walked right up to him, microphone in hand, and began talking, with both the American and Soviet cameras rolling. Mikkel had been interviewing an event participant. Where are you from, Huell asked Mikkel, with his typical Huell Hauser exuberance. You're from Moscow? You mean to tell me that you came all the way from Moscow just to be here at Fort Ross today? Well, golly! Mikkel didn't seem to mind the unplanned intrusion. In fact, he had a grin on his face after hearing Huell utter his now famous phrase, Well, golly! What transpired over the next few minutes between the two of them was truly remarkable. And without a doubt, it was part of California's goal. I was inspired hearing these two talented and accomplished journalists carrying on a perfectly delightful conversation with one another, only a snippet of which made it into Huell's show. This was just months before the end of the Cold War, and already relations between the U.S. and Soviet Union had warmed remarkably, thanks in large part to the earlier efforts of Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev. Indeed, the world will long remember Presidents Reagan and Gorbachev for their roles in transforming international relations near the end of the Cold War. But for me, it was Huell Hauser and Mikhail Taratuta, who truly defined the spirit of detente that summer day at Fort Ross so long ago. Our world changed not long after. I ended up working with Huell on a number of other shows in the years that followed. We filmed episodes of his shows on the waters of Clear Lake and along Marsh Creek, at Timber Cove, and on the Sonoma Coast. We had been discussing two future episodes at the time he got sick and had to retire. If he had lived, I can only imagine the additional shows he would have filmed and the joy he would have brought to his fans, myself included. Recently, I posted on Facebook a screenshot from Huell's Fort Ross episode. It showed Huell and Mikhail talking that day at Fort Ross. A friend in Russia shared it with Mikhail, who is now retired from journalism. Mikhail enjoyed seeing the screenshot and hearing my story about that day. He remembered that day. So do I. 